Bella went to the hospital. Um, then you know, we told you in the ending of the video that there was something also going on with Jasmine that was really bad. And today we're gonna be talking to you guys. This is something that we, that's been going on like in the background for like yeah, a month very already. Scary. Yeah. yeah, we didn't want to tell you guys anything yet because we wanted to first find out the results before yeah. anything. So now that we know what's going on, it's time to share with you guys because hopefully it can save one of your guys' lives. So you want to start? Okay, sure. Okay. So basically, I feel like this was like four years ago or something. Yeah. Um, you found like a, my mom found a birthmark or like a mole or something on my head, right? Mm -hmm. And we didn't think anything of it because we went to the doctor and my doctor was like, it's totally fine, like don't worry. Yeah, So I was freaked out. I was like... I think Jasmine was like 11 at the time and I was doing her like a break yeah. and I saw like a mole just like on her yeah, scalp. she was doing my hair for school yeah. and like she So I'm one of those moms that when I see something wrong I'm like I gotta take her to the doctor so I yeah. took her right away and so, her pediatrician said oh it's nothing to worry about. Like, she's like it's nothing to yeah. worry about. So anyways long story That's short I was yeah. getting like a little like rash on my stomach so I went to the dermatologist for that and randomly my mom remembered Yeah, it. we're in the waiting room and I was like hey let me see your rash and I was looking at her rash and I'm like oh my gosh your mole and she's like mom why are you even bringing this up because we completely forgot about this mole for like three years yeah um we completely forgot about it so I randomly told her let me see if you still have it and she's like mom stop you're gonna mess up my hair and I'm like no we have to show the, the dermatologist yeah so, so I didn't really think anything of yeah. it but then when we showed the dermatologist um he was kind of like like he seemed nervous right away and he was like telling his assistant to like Come take us a picture and then i was like yeah. super nervous i'm like is it something bad and he's like okay so this is a, a typical mole it's called atypical um and what you can do you have two options you can remove it and you know we do, we do a biopsy to make sure it's not cancerous or we can just leave it there and just yeah. watch it make sure it doesn't grow the good news at the time was that it didn't seem like it had been growing like yeah. it seemed like it was the same size from what it was three years ago but yeah, so basically we ended we up just removing it because like we yeah. didn't want to take a chance. We didn't remove it so. then. We actually waited a month. We scheduled back because he wasn't worried. Yeah. So we're like, well, just okay. He made us like, another he said appointment. It was optional. So. Yeah. So we made an appointment for a month later, which was just like a week or two ago. Yeah. Um, and she got it removed. I'll enter in a picture of what the mole looked like, and I'll also enter in a picture of what it looked like after the biopsy. Yeah. So and you want to say what the biopsy was like? Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. So basically, first they had to numb it, which was like the only painful part of it. Like everything else was. And fine. you couldn't see this, but it was actually a big needle. I kind of felt it because it hurt. Yeah. <laughs> but like I felt it, and it felt like really weird. It was yeah. like cold, and then after it, like I was. This can sound weird, but it felt like I was missing a piece of my head or something. Like it was like felt numb so, and weird. I know a lot of you guys probably like, what is a biopsy? So a biopsy pretty much is a doctor removes a piece of like the mole yeah. and he like takes he sends it to another doctor to check it to make sure it's not cancer um so he ended up doing that he injected jasmine oh <laughs> he injected jasmine um with like a numbing cream and then like a numbing thing whatever and yeah. then he removed the mole so once he removed the mole he told me i was like oh are you sure it's not going to be cancerous i'm super nervous and he was like look you know, we don't think it's going to be anything bad, but you never know. The only way to know 100% is by doing the biopsy. The doctor is amazing. He's amazing. Yeah, right? he's amazing. Yeah, so he told us it would take about a week to get the results. So you can imagine that week was like I know, I was so nervous for the whole week. I yeah, see. so then I kept checking to see the portal to see if the results were coming in. Yeah. And finally, the results were in. The doctor called me right when the results were in. Yeah. And it turns out... But it was actually precancerous. It was precancerous. Oh my god, I can't even believe that we're saying that out loud. Give me a hug. I know. <laughs> oh my god, I am calm right now. I'm just not <laughs> I'm calm right now, and so is Jasmine. But when we first found out, I was literally shaking. I was crying. Yeah, I couldn't even crying. speak. I was like, I literally got on my knees and I, I just started praying to God, thanking Him that we caught it in time because she's had it for so long. So. The whole point of this video is not to scare you guys if you have moles because we have moles. Like I have a yeah, bunch, so does she, so does Bella, so does Super Dad. So it's not to scare you. Not every mole is cancerous. Yeah, but like you don't know if you have one on your head. So like ask someone to check for you because yeah. like, I would because she's young. Known. She's yeah. only 14. She's gonna be 15 if you're new here. And the main thing here that is kind of upsetting to me and to Super Dad was that when we took her in, the doctor. Her primary like pediatrician was like, oh, it's nothing to worry about. I really wish that back then she would have told me, hey, it's nothing to worry about now, but sometimes yeah. moles can become cancerous. I didn't know that. Nobody told us anything. So we just assumed I didn't even it. know She's you good. could get that like my age. Like. Yeah, that's another thing. So in case you're wondering, so the mole was, it resembled melanoma, which is one of, oh my gosh, I'm getting chills. 
relaxes away. I'm trying not to cry. <laughs> Don't cry. Oh. <laughs> oh, baby. I love you. I love you too. So, melanoma is one of like the deadliest skin cancers that there is. And I was like... Don't cry. <laughs> it's <laughs> all right. Okay. I'm fine. Okay, well, it's, it would have been really bad. Like, yeah. like, people with melanoma sometimes like... It's, it's just bad. Like, I don't want to scare you guys. I don't want to make you cry. Jasmine is okay, but I'm just glad that we caught it on time. So when I spoke to the doctor, he just told me on the phone. He's like, I'm so glad that we removed it. Um, it did, the pathologist, which is like the doctor checking the mole, said that it did have some characteristics of a, you know, that it could have turned to cancer. There's a normal mole, and then there's melanoma, which is a cancerous mole. Yeah. Jasmine's mole was in the middle. So it wasn't not cancer and it wasn't cancer it was like right in the middle so it could have turned into cancer it was pretty much turning into cancer so it was like a, hur a hurricane for me pretty much yeah, because it already so one thing that we did notice since we had to wait a month to go back to get it removed remember i kept checking it like almost every day to make sure it wasn't changing it was getting like a border thing around it like it was getting yeah, like the, the, so that's one explain. of the things to look out for they tell you to look out for certain things one of the things is like the edges it had like curvy edges and it had two yeah. colors yeah. So like if you zoom into the picture. And it was like kind of bumpy. Like it was kind of sticking out. It was, really it was like patchy stand. almost. Yeah. Like it had, like I said, what I what we think happened was that back then when the doctor first saw it, maybe it looked normal to her. Yeah. And then throughout the years, maybe it started like changing. Um, but if we would have not caught this on time, like it could have been deadly for Jasmine. Like yeah. that's insane saying that out loud. Like I can't even imagine something so like simple could kill you. Like. Yeah. So if you guys ever see a mole and you're like worried about it, go to your dermatologist. Don't get scared with moles. I don't. This the purpose of this video is not to scare anybody because, like I said, we all have moles. We have birthmarks yeah. that we're born with. The main thing to look out for is if you see it changing. So this video is just to bring awareness because I wish somebody would have told us because yeah. you know. And obviously, if you have like a birthmark on your like arm or something, you're gonna see it. And if you see it changing, you're like, okay, I should go. But like yeah. if it's on your head, you can't see. Exactly. It. So, so she like, like completely forgot about it. Like I forgot about it because I thought everything was good. So like if you guys ever get a mole like that, make sure to tell your, your parents like, hey, I'm noticing my mole is changing, it got bigger, yeah. or you know, anything that you notice that I changed color, anything like that to look out for. I'll answer in like what to look out for because he yeah. told us and stuff. But but yeah, so we just wanted to share that with you guys because again, I just wanted to like bring awareness because I was freaked out. I couldn't believe I like, was so shocked. Like I actually didn't think it was gonna be anything. I thought it was gonna be like nothing, but then when they said that I was like and so when they did the biopsy they did zap off like they burned it off like yeah. a piece of you know where the mole was so jasmine her hair grows so fast guys it's so funny because i've been we've been having to put like antibiotic on it like a little ointment mm -hmm. and <laughs> bella's sugar's ringing in the back and um it, the little hairs were already growing like her hairs were already like zapping i don't growing. know why my hair grows this fast i need yeah. to cut my hair no. <laughs> So, so anyways, like I said, now we're saying the story calm because obviously everything is good. Um, you yeah. do have a follow-up coming up in a week. The doctor told us that he's 99.9% .9 sure that he removed the whole thing. But because the person that was doing the test that said it could be, it was precancerous, did recommend for it to be 100% removed just in case because if they left a little piece, it can like regrow. So we just want to make sure that he removes it. He said he was 99.9. .9, so now in the appointment, he's going to make sure he's going to look at it and make sure that to get rid of it, I'm and from so now on, we always have to look around, make sure, you know. But I, we just, like, I'm mind blown because I can't believe Jasmine is 14. Like, that's crazy I to know. me. I didn't even but know you could get skin cancer at that age. Like, like, I'm so glad that you remember. Like, if it wasn't it for was you. It was a mother intuition. If it wasn't for you, like, I'd probably, like, would have no, been don't like, <laughs> No, I know. You're going to make me cry. Don't cry. <laughs> yeah. And it's so crazy because there's nothing, like, like, when Bella got diagnosed, Everybody was telling me I was crazy. I was like, I think she's diabetic and everyone's like, no, it's not gonna be that Even the paramedics came and they told me mom. It's a flu and they were walking away and I was like, wait I think like something's wrong, you know, she's been really thirsty or whatever and I like it saved her life And now I feel like at the dermatologist like something the same yeah, thing is like mother you, intuition I was yeah. like something is wrong. How did you even remember that? For more years? I don't know. I don't know something just told me her mom and I just like remember and it's but, crazy. I went in for one thing and then I was like, I know so anyways, after that happened, like I said, I was really shaken up about it. I was crying for days. I was like, like I was like just picturing her when she was little and growing up. And I'm like, oh my God, if something ever happens to her, like how do I live? Like how do I survive that? Like don't it's heartbreaking. I don't know, I can't live without you. I love you. Or if something happened to her or Bella, I'd be devastated. 
so we first start crying. <laughs> um, the good news is she's good now. Um, we'll keep you guys updated once we go back to the dermatologist. Yeah. But yeah, and then so after that happened, everything happened with Bella where she ended up going to the hospital. So as you can imagine, I have been going crazy. Yeah. <laughs> it has been a very tough week as a mom, and I'm trying to keep it together because you know for them, but yeah. <laughs> when it rains, it pours. So if you guys are going through anything, just know you're not alone. We all go through stuff. We are all, all fighting some kind of battle, and we're gonna get through it together. We just have to be strong and just be thankful. Every day is a blessing. Every day that you're alive is a blessing. So just be thankful for everything. Don't take one day for granted because life can change in a blink of an eye. Yeah. So, so yeah. I'm just so grateful that like we caught it and everything. Yeah. Blinked up. One of the first things that Jasmine said when when she found out, she's like. I have to tell me your fan because like this can save somebody's life because we wish we would have yeah. known like yeah. we had no idea so so, yeah, so yeah. i'm gonna be checking on my moles like all day <laughs> <laughs> so so yeah make sure to comment down below some nice thoughts for jasmine she's so brave and she's so strong and i know that the biopsy hurt you yeah it looks painful, painful but she did it she's a true it was like really itchy and it kind of hurt after for like a few days it actually hurt like the days after instead of like the same day mm -hmm. but now it's good i just mm -hmm. feel it a little bit yeah. Ow. I just ripped them my And hair. it's crazy because I've never had a mole removed or anything. So yeah. I have a um, huge knot in my hair. <laughs> <laughs> but but yeah, so this is gonna be just a quick video to let you guys know that. Thank you guys to everybody who wished Bella to feel better. She's feeling better. She's not a hundred percent yet. She's still a little bit picky, like when she eats. She still says she's not hungry. Um, but she's not throwing up anymore and yeah, she's, she's definitely good. like ninety percent herself. So yeah. But yeah, that's going to be the end of today's video. Thank you guys again. Once again, I tell you all the time, but we love you guys. You guys are like our family. You have been there in the good and the bad. When we got COVID, when Honey was in the hospital, when Super Dad had eye surgery. You've been there in the tough times. You guys are like literally our family. Yeah. And you've also been there for the happy moments, like when yeah. we got our house and all the good stuff. Yeah, so, I love, like telling you guys everything and being open about it. Yeah. So, so thank you guys once again. We love you. Remember, the purpose of this video is not to scare you, it's just to bring awareness so that you can. This is like a reminder for a skin check to make sure that you're yeah. good. So. so, the next time you go to your dermatologist, make sure you yeah. check it. <laughs> yeah, it's always. Okay. So, well, yeah, guys. We love you guys. See you in the back. Bye, Bye guys. guys. Guys, look at the little visitor we just got. Yeah. And thank you guys so much for the sweet comments that you guys gave me. And Are you feeling better now? Yeah, I'm feeling much better now. Oh, I'm glad you're feeling better. <laughs>